Okay, moving on with our build, we've got both of our sides glued together like we did in our last step. We've got our fuselage sides all tacked and now that I've given these things time enough um, to, to set up. Now what the next step we want to do is we want to put our long fuselage that it's either the top or the bottom depending on whether you're building a high wing or a low wing version of this aircraft. But I wanted to show you what I've done here. Um, we know that the empennage, the vertical and the horizontal stabs are one eighth inch balsa. Um, I've taken just a little piece of of material here to line it up. Basically what I've done is I've just clamped these pieces here together. You can eyeball it. You know, the, the cool thing about aviation, model aviation, is the TLAR principles often work just fine. What is TLAR? Well, that's just, that, that looks about right. And, you know, we're, we're pretty straight here. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of eighth inch scrap, in this case it's ply, and I've put it in here and I've got it, got it hanging low right there. The reason that's hanging low is I want to line that up with our cutout. Uh, this particular aircraft that I'm building is the low wing version, therefore the long piece has the cutout for the vertical. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just line this up and you remember when I had you take your formers and put dots in the center of them just to kind of reference things? Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but this is how we are able to make sure everything stays lined up. Um, I've got those dots in there lining up with the center line that I drew down that particular part. So really all that's left to do now on this one is to lay a thin bead of glue on the bottom of the fuselage pieces, on the bottom of the firewall F1 and F2, position it in place, line it up nicely and get it all into position, and then I'll just put a little weight on it to just help keep it perfectly, uh, you know, perfectly straight and flat to the wood so that that glue joint is nice and tight. Then what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to be sure that this little piece of scrap that I put in here to help me line up the vertical stab relief, um, I want to be sure that that doesn't get glue on it because that's going to come out. Eventually what's going to go in there is the, the horizontal and the vertical stabilizers. So that's what we've got left now. When, you, um, when we come back to the video after the little break, these pieces will be glued together and dry. Okay, I let this glue dry overnight for the bottom of my fuselage and or in the case of this airplane for me it's the top. You can see here I got a lip all the way over here all the way down on both sides. Well after we get everything all assembled, after we get our top deck glued on we will be in a point where I'll take my sand uh, sanding bar, my T-bar sander, and I'll bust that all down and shape it and put a nice radius on it. But we've got the makings of a nice, strong, and straight fuselage. The next thing we want to do, this is a great time to do it, I've already taken my wing from earlier build and I've drilled a hole in this first former and I've slid it in place and a couple of things that you want to make note of. You never want to start the hole too high. This is about, a, I'm using a bamboo skewer here instead of an eighth inch dowel. So it's got a lot of strength. And anyway, I start off with an eighth inch hole, but I'll start drilling that hole a little bit low, a little bit down. And the reason I do that is because if it's up too high, well, it creates slop at the leading edge of the wing and under flight, it can pull away and break out. Uh, you want to have it just high enough to allow the wing to sit properly in the saddle. Anyway, I've done that and I take the time to measure everything. One of the things I want to notice, I uh, want you to notice here, is that even old Crash, as long time builder as I've been, well, I've made some mistakes. And these are just not that big a deal. After I get everything all situated, I, it's kind of hard to see here, but I've got a little bit of, I'm a little crooked here on this, uh, on this this former one in its uh, installation. No big deal. The main thing you want to make sure is that everything matches where the where the wing meets the fuselage on each side 
And the reason we're going to do that is our next step here is to square it up. Now I happen to know where this goes. I use a lot of times the the TLAR principle when it comes to doing airplanes. And I have already kind of eyeballed this to see where it stands. But um, what I'm going to do is with my pen, after I've got the wing squared up and where I want it, I'm just going to make a mark. Just a mark right there and right there. Because these marks are going to tell me how far I can put the sheeting up for this bottom back sheeting. And if I were to go too far with that, well then the wing wouldn't pop into its recessed saddle area. So, now I've got that done and I'm ready to, to glue this piece in. Now, um, had I made this um, a high wing version, then this would be our side with the slot. And in which case, I would still go to the trouble of centering it up to those lines. And, oops, and I would have... There we go. And I would have made sure that at the back end of the airplane, that notch would have been centered for our vertical stab. Anyway, the next thing to do is to glue this thing on in place. And when we get back, we'll talk about the rest of the build.